My name is Virginia Leach, and welcome to the audio presentation for the project entitled Breast Cancer Survivorship Struggles, Lessons from the Field, presenting at the University of Louisiana's Health Disparities Conference. Let's get started. Over the last three decades, interventions have increased breast cancer survivorship rates across all racial and ethnic demographics in the United States. These improvements have led to the assumption that when one becomes a breast cancer survivor, life is smooth and can return to normal. This false narrative misrepresents the breast cancer experience as a fixed point in time when in fact, being diagnosed with breast cancer is a traumatic event with lifelong physical and mental side effects. Fewer African American women survive the disease than their white counterparts, and the ones that do do not do so unscathed. African American women continue to experience institutional and systematic racism and sexism while struggling to navigate the survivorship phase of breast cancer. The purpose of investigating the psychological and social, also known as the psychosocial, factors of African American women breast cancer survivors is twofold. First, to uncover the issues experienced in the aftermath of breast cancer, and two, to create strategies to improve the quality of life of African American women breast cancer survivors. The major takeaway from this research project was that African American women breast cancer survivors struggle with their mental and emotional health once they reach the survivorship phase of their breast cancer journey. 20 black women were recruited using the purposeful sampling technique through the Tiger Lily Foundation, a nonprofit breast cancer advocacy organization. This study required participants to self identify as black women diagnosed with breast cancer, currently in remission or not be in active treatment, and be associated with the Tiger Lily Foundation. All interviews were recorded and transcribed using otter.ai software, while thematic analysis coding was completed using Envivo software. Upon completion of the study, participants received a $50 gift card. Results. Releasing African American women from their cancer care team without resources for their mental and physical health does not help them sustain a high quality of life. Participants often brought up they had a good care team and at times felt heard by their medical providers, but felt a loss or separation once they were released from their cancer care. African American women breast cancer survivors need professional therapists or oncology social workers to guide them throughout their breast cancer journey. A common theme in the interviews was the urgent need for all cancer patients, not just breast cancer patients, to be encouraged to begin therapy as soon as possible. When oncologists recommend patients alter their diet and exercise patterns, they should also suggest patients speak with a professional to help them unpack the diagnosis and how it's affecting them, even when they think it's not. In conclusion, not all participants were directed to breast cancer support groups, especially ones that were age and culturally relevant. Organizations like the Tiger Lily Foundation is meeting the needs of black women before, during, and after breast cancer to ensure they do not feel isolated and can grow into a community that has been created for them. Please feel free to reach out to me, Virginia Leach, with any questions about this project and future programs the Tiger Lily Foundation has coming up. Talk to you soon.